Hi guys, Jen here from Maine and Suds and Such and Be Scented Fragrance Little Supply. Long time no see. I think it's been a week or more since I have loaded a video. Yikes. Um, I am making a custom oatmeal milk and honey soap. Um, they love my oatmeal milk and honey uh, soap, but they would like it to have a little more... Um, uh, the oats to be a little bit bigger in size so I am going to make them a small batch let me plug in my stick blender and eat my apron so I'm going to make them a small batch and I'm not going to use my coffee grinder to grind up the oats like I normally do I'm going to use my stick blender and just give it a few pulses to break up the oatmeal. So there's the oils. Here's the oats for the batch. See them in there. I have, why is it every time I make stuff I have one lonely gnat that wants to drop me nuts. Now I'm going to cover my hand over it so they don't pop out like they just did. Well, I was hoping to prevent that, but you know. Oh well. Let's see, like this maybe? Oh well. I'll just clean the mess up. It's just oatmeal. That I am making a mess with. <laughs> Need it. Okay. I think that's good. Still got some big pieces, some little pieces. I think that will work. Let me get these picked up and put stick them in my sink. To get them out of me way. So this does have my oats and my goat milk and my clay in there. They actually ordered several custom soaps. So I will be doing this one and I will be doing, um, they ordered some facial bars and I have to make those anyway so I'm going to restock my facial bars and a co uh, soap cake. <laughs> using all of my soaps. I'll go ahead and add my scent. It does not accelerate. It's just oatmeal, milk, and honey scent. I'm going to um, get my lye solution. Now it does have my silk in it. I think I'll go ahead and add the oats in there. We'll just get it all buzzed up together. Bloop. Since my bowl is quite full. This will also help break down some of the great bigger oat pieces. You don't want them too big. Okay. 
That's that for that soap. That was complicated, wasn't it? Oatmeal milk and honey soaps are quite easy. See the nice chunks of oatmeal in there. So, now I will wait for this to set up and we shall texture the top. So I'll bring you guys back in just a minute. Okay, we're gonna try to texture the top. I went ahead and poured the rest of the soap that was in there. Yep, it's not ready yet. We'll be back. Okay, I think it's ready. So, we're ready enough to get a little texture on the top. This soap, I don't go for much texture, but it's still so super thin. Maybe I can make my next batch of soap and come back and texture it. And then you guys can see it when we cut it. Because I have more soaps to make. And this one is just taken forever to set up such a slow mover so I'm gonna push this to the back and I'll see you guys for the cutting hi guys Jen here we are going to cut our oatmeal milk and honey custom soap Let's get this out of the mold. Bloop. There we go. Look at that. Let me grab my cutter. Okay. Get this tightened and you all adjusted to see exactly what I am doing. Wrong way. Hello. God, I'm having difficulties today. Okay. Goodness me. I won't plain this soap because of all the oats in it. It'll just make big drag marks. But you can see the nice texture in there. Mmm, so it's really good. There we go. Hope you all are having a wonderful day. I am. I went and got my nails done this morning took the kids to the park uh, to play a while and then we went sh grocery shopping and I am done for the day. I uh, come back to cut all of these soaps and unmold all the soaps that I have done yesterday and actually you know what I'm yeah I'm gonna cut this in half but they will get both of these pieces with their order because you know this is their soap so there you go I shall catch you all on my next soapy video